Understanding Proxy Voting, a simple guide. Hello, everyone. Today we're going to delve into a topic that's important in the world of governance and decision making, proxy voting. This concept may sound complex, but fear not, we'll break it down together. So, let's get started. Proxy voting is a method by which a person delegates their voting power to another person, the proxy, to vote on their behalf. This is commonly used in the context of corporate meetings but can also apply to any voting environment where delegates are permitted. It's like handing over the reins of your decision-making power for a specific event or decision. In proxy voting, the main player is the proxy the individual you trust to vote for you. Here's how it generally works. 1. You give written authorization to your proxy. 2. Your proxy attends the meeting. 3. They vote according to your wishes or their best judgment if you haven't specified. There are several reasons why someone might opt for proxy voting. Inability to attend. If you can't be present at a meeting, a proxy can ensure your vote is counted. Expertise. You might choose someone with more expertise to make a more informed decision. Convenience. Sometimes it's just more convenient to have someone else vote on your behalf. Proxy voting isn't just for corporate settings. It can be used. In governments, certain parliamentary procedures allow for proxy voting. In organizations, Boards and committees may use proxies for efficiency. Online, technological advances now permit digital proxy voting. And that wraps up our quick guide to proxy voting. Whether it's in a boardroom or a legislative chamber, proxy voting plays a crucial role in representing interests and making decisions. Thanks for watching, and we hope this video has shed some light on the subject. Stay curious and keep learning.